This woman just won a settlement from Scottsdale after police wrongfully arrested her for a hit and run almost three years ago. Officers belittled her, called her a liar, and ignored clear evidence of her innocence. So when ABC 15 Chief Investigator Dave Biscobing exposed the case, it got national attention. And that woman says without our reporting, police never would have been held accountable. Here's Dave with more on this important development. Tonight's meeting. It's Scottsdale City Council meeting. It was a quick vote. Unanimous. Thank you very much. Members approving a $200,000 settlement to end the lawsuit brought by Yesenia Garcia. Back in March 2020, Yesenia flagged down officers after she got back to her car parked in the Old Town area and found her windshield smashed. But instead of thoroughly checking surveillance video that proved a random guy stomped on her windshield, the officers accused Yesenia of driving drunk and getting into a hit-and-run crash a couple blocks over. Your car was just involved in a hit-and-run collision where a pedestrian was hit. And don't make faces like you don't know no, what I'm talking but listen I to me. Oh my listen God. listen okay. to me. Leaving the scene of an injury accident is a felony. This isn't my first day. I know that you're, you were driving and you were worried about it because you're drinking. Yesenia's defense attorney got the charges dropped. Um, but when we interviewed her back in 2021, she couldn't find a civil attorney to take on the lawsuit and try to hold the city accountable. Think that that helped telling your story? A hundred percent. A hundred percent, yes. We just interviewed Yesenia after the vote. I still remember sitting with you um, and just giving, ready to give up on the case. After our story, Ben Taylor was one of the attorneys who agreed to handle the case. A lot of attorneys didn't take her case because of governmental immunity. And the governmental immunity allows the government to get away with crimes and by arresting people unlawfully. And it's not just the settlement. The story forced Scottsdale to open an internal investigation, leading to discipline and suspensions for officers involved in Yesenia's arrest. I'm Investigator Dave Biscobing, ABC 15, Arizona. Do you have a story idea for ABC 15 investigators? We want to hear from you. Go to our webpage, email us at investigators at abc15.com or call that number right there on your screen. Closing.